All right, um, I'm going to go over a basic uh, creation of a zombie and import into 3D Studio Max, which would be very similar um, workflow in Maya. Um, the next videos that I'll create are how to um, set up and um, import into CryEngine once I figure that out myself. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually create the zombie. So we'll go to New Model, pick the zombie male. See, I'm picking the arms. There's also other different models in here if you want to do something different and funky and customize the hell out of it if you want. But uh, I'm just going to go for something very simple. Pick all the male zombie parts. And there you go. We have a very simple naked male zombie. Um, in this mode, you can actually grab different parts, play around with the geometry some stretching and pushing and pulling. Uh, with the head selected, for example, you can go to uh, Customize. Uh, go to Head, actually. And there's all sorts of different settings and sliders. And you can tweak it pretty pretty much. As much as you want. You can randomize and make them very beetle juicy there. Uh, you can randomize all and completely customize the whole body if you're really lazy and just want to get something random. Um, I'm quite sure that there's a way to change the texture. Uh, I don't know offhand how to do it. Uh, this is right here. Click on the body or clothing to texture. Yeah, yeah, so edit the texture. Um, it has something to do with substances. I don't know enough about it, but we can get there uh, as we need. But you can modify the skin color easy enough, so if we want it to look a little more like he's been out in the, in the rain and moss. Do that. You can change uh, some of the render options. You can make them look a little more grungy. Uh, maybe add a little more hue to them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different settings so you could uh, add more beauty marks to them. Make them more beautiful. Make them bigger. Marilyn Monroe of zombies. A little high shadow. The nice thing about this is that it'll actually rig the entire face. So we're going to have teeth, tongue, eyes, everything. Uh, glossy teeth. And hair. And, and hair, dude. Closed hair. Roll there for a zombie. Two female hair, perhaps not. Yeah, there we go. Zombie businessman of doom. He wants eyelashes. Well, any self-respecting mustache would want it. Her zombie want a mustache. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, um, again, there's a uh, shader parameters that you can play around with, etc. Uh, so, nothing wrong with naked zombies, but we're going to add um, some pants to them here. Uh, there's some basics in here. Some work for him. We'll give him some torn khakis, because he is a busy man. Or was. Again, you can uh, select the uh, clothing, and you can go into the texture. up the, the normals, make it a little bumpier and rougher, you can change the hues, the colors, the saturations, da da da, the edge wear, you can increase the wear level on them, it's very good for them. If you want to know how I'm moving around, uh, left mouse button rotates, middle mouse button moves, and make it more your detail. Alright. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there's a whole lot of uh, customizations that can be done to them, so I'm not going to get much further into that. Uh, the next step, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to get this rigged. Um, what we're going to do is uh, drop this over to Mixamo. Uh, and since this is a fuse, we have an unlimited amount of riggings, which is awesome. So 
to do that, we simply hit this animate button in the top right. Um, hit upload with your account information. And let's go through all the little exporting processes here. And then upload to the server. It'll open up a new window. And uh, what it's doing right here, it's auto-rigging. And it's going to rig everything from the uh, arms, legs, to the face, to the eyes, to the teeth, uh, to finger bones, you name it. You also have the option of uh, adding animations, but I'm not going to be concerned about that at the moment. And I'm going to pause this while this is doing this, so you don't have to wait. And we're back. And he is uh, rigged and animated. There's a basic animation here. And uh, he's chilling out and looking around and doing his thing. It's pretty cool. He's back to life. Uh, you have um, options of boosting up your, uh, or lowering your um, uh, skeleton resolution. Uh, three chain fingers is more than fine for a game. So we are good with that. Uh, facial blend shapes is fine. And uh, what we do here is hit finished. Uh, it gives a couple options for uh, output. Um, for Max, it's FBX. I, I always pick FBX uh, because it's universal for Maya. Um, and uh, I, we don't need to animate now, but if you'd like to, you know, you hit animate. And I'll go to viewing my assets. Is. And I will queue for downloading. Format FBX in the T pose. And we'll queue download. It's going to process. I had another one here that I was using to test earlier. We'll ignore him for And we will hit the download button. Ambiguously named Fuse Model FBX is now downloaded. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, import it into uh, 3D Studio Max Mighties. So hold on one moment. Okay, now that I have Max open, uh, what I want to do is import. Uh, we'll import everything. Okay. And there he is. In all his glory. But he's in a uh, funky uh, format that is pretty much unusable with the game. Now, what we want to do is there's a uh, script available uh, through Mixamo. Um, and that uh, is located at Mixamo.com scripts. Uh, in Max, it's called Auto Biped. Um, it's just you download the script and you run it. Uh, it's a similar thing for Maya, the auto control script or rig script. Uh, again, you go to maximo, mixmo.com scripts, download it, and you'll be able to run it the same way. Yeah, I'll buy that script. And... Like, yes, I don't buy pad. And this is just a simple matter. It'll run through, it'll create the bones, it'll do everything that needs to do automatically. And we'll hit create pipe head. Pretty, pretty darn cool. It makes me feel lazy. Bam! Done. So now I can uh, actually go through and turn off. Uh, We have our whole skeleton. So what I'm going to do now is just show you that this is a give me a 
proper uh, zombie motion here. Get down. As you can see, though, um, the materials are a little glossy and all that, but that can easily be fixed, and uh, that's nothing to worry about. So um, that's it for uh, creating a uh, character, and bringing him in, getting him rigged. Uh, the next step is uh, exporting to the game, and we will have that in the next video. Thank you. Uh, if I can find it.